everyone. Welcome back to IntegralCalc.com. We're going to be doing a Euler's Method problem today. This is our first Euler's Method problem. Woohoo! This problem, the function that they give us is y prime or the derivative of y equals 1 plus y. The initial condition that's given is y of 0 equals 0. And they're asking us to find um, they're asking us to estimate um, y of 1 with n equal to 4, which probably doesn't make any sense right now, but we will uh, we'll get it figured out. I'm going to go ahead and write down the formula that we're going to need. The Euler's method formula in most textbooks is pretty complicated, but really you can boil it down to the following. y of 1 equals y0 plus f of t0 y0 times delta t. Okay, so this is, uh, this is our formula that we need. Let's go ahead and separate it. Um, so here's our problem, here's our formula. The first thing that I always do with the Euler's Method problem is go ahead and start building my table of values. So the way that I do that t0 and y0 is what you always start with. These values are given by the initial condition, always. So this here, this number represents because we have y of t. So this is t0 and this is y0. They both happen to be 0. So those are our initial values. Then what we need to do is find out um, what delta t is going to be. And delta t we actually find um, by the following formula. We subtract um, the, the value of t at the point that we're looking for, so that's 1, um, and then we subtract from that uh, the value of t at the point that we're given, so 1 minus 0, and then we divide by n, which in this case they gave us was 4. So we have 1 divided by 4 is actually going to be 0.25. So that's delta t. Um, it's also the uh, the it's going to be the change in t um, every time that we move one step over. Basically, Euler's method is is um, a method of approximation. They give you one point on the function, and you use you use Euler's method to approximate uh, another point by like stepping closer and closer to it. Um, you can do the same thing by just solving the equation al algebraically and, and plugging in the point that you're looking for, but we have to learn this uh, approximation method. So after you find delta t, um, what you need to do is um, you, you're starting from zero, so you want to add whatever you got for delta t uh, to the previous value of t each time. So right, um, zero plus 0.25 is 0.25. 0.25 plus 0.25 is 0.5. So just keep writing this until um, you get to this value here, right? This is y of t. This is the value of t um, at the point that we're that we're trying to approximate. So until you get to one in our case, and then you can just go ahead and write uh, t1, t2, t3, and t4. I find that this is the least confusing way to start building your, your table for Euler's method. So now that you've done that, right, here's t, the value of t at the point we were given, 0. Here's the value of t at the point we're trying to approximate, 1. And you can see um, n equals 4, right? We have t, um, t4, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, so that's why we were given n equals 4. You can see that when we're trying to go from 0 to 1 and we're making 4 step increment changes that the, the delta t might in fact be 0.25. So that's how we got there. Now you need to write your corresponding y values. So y1, y2, y3, and y4. So now that we've got that, um, we can go ahead and start computing these. You can't just skip straight to y4 and compute it because you need your answer from y1 
to plug into this formula here to get y2, to plug into y3, um, you have to solve these in steps one at a time. So we're going to go ahead and try to find y1. The way that we do this is with this formula here. You can see this gives us a formula for y1 and that's what we're trying to find. So let's go ahead and do that. The first thing in our, in our y1 formula is y0, which you can see we already have here from our initial condition, so that's 0. So we go ahead and write that in. And then we have plus, and this here, f of the point t0, y0, basically means the value of the original function um, at whatever point we're looking at. And in this case, we always plug in the previous point to the original function. So since we're solving for y1, we have to plug in this t0, y0 point um, into the original function to get our value here. So we plug in um, the point 0, 0. In this case, we have no t in our original function. It's just 1 plus y. So we're not going to end up plugging in 0 for t because we have no t's. So what we are going to do is plug in 0 for y. So we get 1 plus 0, right, which is 1. So the value of the function at the point 0, 0 is just 1. So we have um, 1, and then of course we have to multiply times delta t, which of course is 0.25. We solved for it earlier. 0.25 equals uh, 1 times 0.25 is just 0.25. So this is the value of y1. Now we use this value to find y2. And this, right, if we were going to find y2, all of these little numbers here would go up by 1. So this would go from 1 to 2, this would go from 0 to 1, and both of these here would go from 0 to 1. Um, I'm not going to continue doing that, but I'm going to do it this first time so we can see the difference. So now y2, we have an equation. Um, we plug in the value for y1, which we just solved for here, so it's 0 0.25. 0 0.25 plus um, the value of the original function when we plug in um, t1, y1, which is here. The point is 0 0.25, 0 0.25. So we plug in these two values up here. Again, we won't be plugging in this value because there's no t up in the equation, so we're only plugging in 0 0.25 for y. We get 1 plus 0.25 is 1.25. So the value we plug in here is 1.25. And then we always multiply by delta x, which is going to stay 0.25 throughout this process. And um, again, I have computed these values ahead of time because I don't have a calculator with me right now. So this value is 0.5625. One really important thing to note with Euler's method, when you're going through this process and you, you plug this all into your calculator and you get this answer, it's extremely important that you keep every single decimal place that the calculator gives you. So when you write this out, if it gives you 0.652789, please write 0.5625789. Um, don't cut it off to two or three or even four decimal places because um, you're trying to get the most accurate approximation that you can, and oftentimes, I, I found at least that um, by the time you get to the end, if you cut off any decimal places, your answer will be um, significant, um, significantly different enough from the final answer that if you have a multiple choice test, your answer won't be listed, or your answer will be different enough that if you're showing your work and coming up with your own answer, it won't be um, correct, and, and you'll you'll um, you'll be incorrect on the problem on your test. So uh, please keep every single decimal place that your calculator gives you. I know it's more tedious to plug in a longer number, but it's really important that you do it whenever you're um, working with Euler's method.